5-2 game uh, for the kickers coming out on top. First time that the team scored uh, five goals in a game since the Open Cup in 2019. What did you see from uh, the offense that you really liked and uh, the defense to kind of slow down Maryland and make sure that the kickers got the result? First, that was a good team. Maryland's a good team. I mean, Darwin Espinal could play on any team in our league. He's a very good player. There's good guys on that team that have played it here before. Mattia was out there. He's called Kelvin now, but uh, uh, it was a good team. To win a game against a pro team and to score the goals the way we did, I was really happy for the guys. And what did it do for the mentality, too, uh, taking an early lead, then finding that second goal with Chandler? Um, can you kind of talk about like just what worked tonight and what you were happy with as far as the, the attack? Yeah, we've worked on some things and they showed up. You know, Chandler, the timing of his counter press was perfect. He scored a great goal, and, he, and you know, we've been waiting for guys to kind of take some opportunities, and Chandler took one tonight. So I'm really happy for him. Darren, this club has a rich history with this competition. How do you put into words what the, the U.S. Open Cup ring means to the Richmond Kickers? Yeah, I don't, I want, I don't want to overspeak. I think that's Rob's job because he's won one and he's uh, been here and he's the guy that takes care of us. So I, all I would say is we want to represent well. We're the stewards of the ship right now, and I'm proud of the guys that we're moving on. You've talked about Nils creativity in the past. That's obviously a huge part of what this team does going forward. What did you see from him tonight? The free kick was big, right? Set up Dakota's first goal. And then it looked like the through ball on the fourth one was, was really beautiful. What did you see from him? Nils is a special player. There's no question. You know, in 2022, we were able to put a lot of weapons around him because we, we, we brought a lot of kids along. It's been a little more difficult with the CBA and stuff, so we're developing younger kids. Uh, you know, Ryan gets hot. Adrian's done really well. It gives Nil people to play in. And when the kids come along, it's going to get even better. A couple of local products got to see the field there at the end. Is a pretty cool moments for them to be able to come on in the U.S. Open Cup match. Yeah, look, Landon and Beckett are both signed to pro contracts, so they're 17 and 18 respectively. They're young. People have to have patience with that. And I know everybody wants to win. I want to win. I'm more competitive than anybody in the stands. But these kids, in time, are going to be special players. Hi. Um, what factors did you see as? influential in this result versus the last, um, the, the tighter margin in the previous Open Cup match? Yeah, we hadn't won a game in a while. You know, people tell me that all the time and we know it. So we had to find a way to get a win and we did. You know, I think we were unlucky in both the league matches. Statistically, we outshot, we out, you know, possessed these teams. We just didn't win the game. So I think tonight the guys pulled it together. Uh, you know, we started a more veteran lineup, uh, plus Griffin Garnett, and uh, they rewarded us for it. Uh, one thing that we've been noticing, I think, in the fans is exciting to see Chandler O'Dwyer getting forward. He seems to get amongst the goals when he is, so would love to hear your thoughts on him playing more forward position. Yeah, he, he, you know, we tell him he, he wants to play as a holding midfielder, right, and he can do it, and we played him at center back because we've had to. Uh, we like him in attacking spaces, and he, he took it tonight, so it's up to him now. What makes Dakota so dangerous going forward uh, as a weapon there in the box for you guys, two goals for him tonight? I think he's just choosing to. You know, he had a brilliant first half of last year. At the halfway point last year, everything was flying. Dakota got injured. That hurt us. And he got injured. That hurt us, right? He's healthy. He's strong. He's leading. Uh, he's got a good young kid next to him who's listening to him. So I, I think sky's the limit for him this year. Your two goals tonight, first one off of a really nice free kick from from nil, kind of straight off the training ground, and then there was the scrappier goal. Can you kind of walk us through those two plays and, you know, what you were doing? Yeah, and nah, Nell played a wicked ball in, and honestly, like, just a quick, easy, like, redirection for me. It was a great ball from him. Uh, like you said, something we work on pretty religiously here uh, with the kickers. And, yeah, the second goal, just we did well to keep the ball alive, and I think that's a testament to really all the guys on the team for that, not really giving up on the play when the ball didn't go in the first time, and, you know, found myself in the right place at the right time. You've alluded to it, but how good is Nils' delivery on set pieces and how much fun is it to, to be able to get on the other end of them? Yeah, I mean, he's we call him the wizard for a reason, and he's got a nice ball that he plays in, and just getting on the same page with him throughout this preseason and now has been really dialed in for us. This club's got a really rich history with this competition. Do yeah. you guys think about that much, and, and what does it mean to a kicker's player to be playing in competition that this club has such a history in. Yeah, I think it's something that we talk about. That's, you know, we have videos that play in the locker room before, even from back in the day. So it's something that we see and, you know, seeing it with our eyes is really helpful for us to really go out there and then make the city proud, make the club proud. And like you said, this club does have a rich history in Open Cup and that's something we want to continue to build on. We can see the effect on goals scored with Emmy out. So how have you guys worked on having goals come from all parts of the team, defense, midfield, as well yeah. as the top? Like you said, it's a team effort. I think, you know, with Emmy out, that's 
you know, the guy's a back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back MVP. Any team in the world would be missing a player like that. So I think the guys have done a really good job of coming up and putting the ball in the back of the net from all positions. Like when you got balls play being played in by Nil and James Vaughn and Simon and Maxi, like it's coming. So for us, it's just about continuing to get the repetitions and continuing to have that service in for the guys that are in there. Um, during Darren's uh, post-match, he kind of alluded to the partnership that you've been working on with uh, Griffin as well, yeah. uh, getting conscripted into service as we kind of battled through some injuries, but also a guy who earned his playing time throughout the preseason. Can you kind of talk about the opening weeks, playing with him uh, by your side and how he's grown as a player and how you guys work together? Uh, he's a top player, man. Like, the kid's going to be special. He really is. I think uh, playing next to him honestly kind of reminds me of playing like next to myself maybe like 10 years ago or so. So I, I really enjoy it. I think he's got the, all the feet. He's got quality feet, good head, and he's just going to continue to grow. And for me, I'm happy to be there next to him and be in that be in that situation where I can help him grow as a player and hopefully, you know, just keep on getting some dubs with him. Yeah. Also, guys, appreciate it, guys.